Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Jim Grimes. And I'm Lily Ortiz. Liz has a night off. What is believed to be a human smuggling boat carrying dozens of people capsized off the coast of Fort Pierce. Yeah, the Coast Guard now sharing this photo of a survivor that was found sitting on the boat. CBS 12's Treasure Coast reporter Denise Sawyer joins us live from the Fort Pierce Inlet. And Denise, what's the latest tonight? Jim, good evening. Now, 45 miles east of where I'm standing is where the Coast Guard members are looking for those missing people. They say that 40 people were crammed into a smuggling boat when they were trekking across the Atlantic Ocean. And that's when that trip ended in dangerous, choppy water. Waves crash off the coast as the Coast Guard search moves into another stretch of water. Authorities say a Good Samaritan found a man clinging to an overturned boat near Fort Pierce. That man said he had been traveling from Bimini, Bahamas with 39 other people when the boat reportedly capsized during a storm Saturday night. Now, days later, the Coast Guard is out on sea and air searching for any other survivors. A search that may end tragically because no one reportedly was wearing a life jacket. Now, the Coast Guard is calling this a suspected human trafficking operation. Live in Fort Pierce, I'm Denise Sawyer for CBS. All right, right now we are tracking the latest on the weather, which could play a factor in this search. Our chief meteorologist, Peter Street, joining us. Yeah, you have a little bit of rough surf out there as we continue to see that uh, easterly wind that's going to continue to come in. And it looks like some waves action that's going to be out there causing a problem. West Palm Beach right now, dark clouds out there. And we do have a front that's going to be pushing through, giving us some rain showers, maybe some thunderstorms, also causing a little bit of a issue out there for some search and rescue efforts. But we're looking at storm track radar right now, showing the clouds thickening up over Palm Beach County. Martin County and the Treasure Coast. 